Richard and Mildred Loving were two people that loved each other. He was white and she was black, and our government told them that they could not love each other. The Lovings didn't know that it was a crime for a white person to marry a Negro in Virginia. They found out the hard way. For me as a filmmaker, I was trying to get as close to reality as possible. I wanted this world to look and feel correct. I now pronounce you husband and wife. The policeman, they told us to get up when we was under arrest. I realized just that Jeff was sitting on something very precious, the story that he was going to tell. He created this vital world. He's a very thorough director. He knows exactly what he wants to do. I knew Joel had this amazing facility for voice, as well as posture and body language and everything else. I can take care of you. I know that. After a couple of days of living in that character, he just settled in. We both felt this huge responsibility to do these characters justice. Ruth just knew how important this was to her and how moved she was by the lives of this couple. Action. Somehow she was able to manifest everything that I knew about Mildred Loving. I just told myself up in my hotel room for three days and studied the documentary. <laughs> We're listening. Bottom line is we are going to get you all some help. I was very excited about it because it was a subject matter that I thought was incredibly relevant and interesting. The laws are simply relics of slavery and they're maintained to keep the colored person down and the white person up, and that's the simple truth of the case. Both the accused leave Caroline County in the state of Virginia at once. Virginia and the landscape, specifically around Bowling Green and Central Point, became a fundamental building block of how the story plays out. When you see photos of Richard and Mildred walking down the same street that we shot on, you know, pretty amazing. We visited the jail cell that Mildred was kept in. It was tiny. The storefronts feel very similar, and you felt like you were in 1965 Virginia. It's hard to believe. I, mean, I still don't believe it, but, you know. They're two of the most inspirational people I've ever come across. People get a really loving, warm feeling out of the movie, and it sparks a lot of conversation. This film is simply about love between two people. That's what makes this story important. You think you'll lose? We may lose the small battles, but win the big war. Is there anything you'd like me to say to the Supreme Court justices of the United States? Tell the judge I love my wife.